The Windows 365 Cloud PC is finally official. Google Meet group calls just got shorter. Apple finally has a MagSafe battery pack. How's it going everybody? This is Dave LeClaire with MEO Tech Bytes and it is time to take a look at the biggest tech news from the last 24 hours. It has been a busy day. The tech news world never sleeps and they have been going hard announcing all kinds of cool stuff. I have been looking at the biggest announcements and then deciding which ones I think you need to know about and I'm gonna tell you about them right now. So we've heard rumors for some time that Microsoft was working on a Windows in the Cloud experience, which is basically that any device could run Windows directly in the web browser, all the processing is done on the cloud. And that is exactly what Microsoft announced today. The company announced Windows 365. So what exactly is Windows 365? Well, it's exactly what the rumor said it was gonna be. It's a service that allows you to run Windows in the cloud, all the processing is done elsewhere, and you view the results on any device with a web browser. So if you have a Raspberry Pi that you wanna run Windows on, as long as the Raspberry Pi has a web browser installed, you can do it. You can run Windows on your Android device, on your Mac even, without having to do any type of virtual machine. It sounds really cool. Now, not only is it going to support Windows, but specifically it is going to support Windows 11 once that launches. So you'll be getting the latest version of Windows. So we don't know all the Windows 365 details just yet. We don't know how much it's gonna cost. We don't know what kind of hardware is gonna be running in the cloud as far as your performance and everything goes. So we'll have to wait and see, but we won't have to wait too long. As Microsoft has said that it is going to release Windows 365 on August 2nd of this year. So we're talking about just a couple weeks away. So all the details will have to come out soon and we will keep you posted. So what I'm about to tell you might seem like bad news and it kind of is, but in a way it's kind of good news too because it means things are starting to get back to normal. Google has announced that it is getting rid of the unlimited call length on Meet and it is bringing it back down to the 60 minute limit for anybody with a free Gmail account which means you won't be able to sit there for hours having virtual meetings with your colleagues, but hopefully with everybody getting vaccinated and with the pandemic slowly waning down, you won't need to anymore. See, it's kind of good news. If you're only having a one-on-one -on -one call, those can still be up to 24 hours with a free account. So if it's just you and your boss getting together to have a quick chat or a really long chat, in this case, 24 hours, you'll be able to do that. It's just group meetings are limited to 60 minutes. So keep that in mind. So when you get to about 55 minutes of your call, you'll get a notification saying the time is almost up. You can choose to upgrade for 10 bucks a month and then you'll be able to have unlimited meetings again. Or maybe this will just give you an excuse to have shorter meetings because really, who wants to have a meeting longer than an hour anyway? So when Apple first announced MagSafe, my first thought was, man, that's a great thing to have. You could stick a battery to the back of it and charge your phone wirelessly. You could get a nice extended battery without having to have any wires. But then they didn't release one, not an official one at least. But that's changed now as Apple has officially announced its own MagSafe battery pack for iPhone 12 or iPhone 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max. So if you have one of those devices and you're like, man, I really need a little bit of extra juice and I want a convenient way to do it, this is for you. Now, as exciting as this is, there are a couple of drawbacks. One, it's only available in white. So if you got one of the blue iPhones or the red iPhones or any of the other colors, it's gonna look a little bit off. And two, because it is from Apple, it is a whopping $99. So this is not a cheap device to stick to the back of your phone to get some extended battery life. It's gonna run you a hundred bucks, but at least it is small. It doesn't look like it's gonna stick out too far and it looks like it's fairly lightweight. So it does have that going for it. It does look like a nice device. It's just a hundred bucks is a little bit on the pricey side. So interestingly, Apple is actually limiting this accessory to iOS 14.7 or later, which is the latest version of iOS in the first place. So unless you've upgraded your phone to the most recent version, you're not gonna be able to use this. If you haven't updated and you wanna grab one of these, make sure you do so or else it's not gonna work. The reason for that is likely because you can actually check the battery level on the battery widget in iOS and that would need to be updated into the OS in order for the widget to support that. So that kind of makes sense, but it is a bit of a weird thing for a piece of hardware to not work based on the operating system. It's just a battery being charged, but either way, you probably have your phone updated anyway, but if you have it and you plan on buying one of these, just make sure you upgrade. And with that, this episode of MUO Tech Bytes is in the books. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. I hope you'll click that thumbs up button and I hope you will subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never miss another episode of MEO Tech Bites because I know you don't want to miss an episode and I will see you guys in the next one.